My dad used to snore so loudly that my mom would wake up and go out into the living room when he went in to go to bed. So now I've been told I snore too. What do I do about it? Hey sleepers, Trace here for D News. Snoring can be a really disruptive sleep behavior. Sometimes it's really quiet, but some people snore so loudly that they can wake the neighbors. Snoring is one of the loudest sounds humans can make. It's been recorded to hit 92 decibels, as loud as a jackhammer at like 50 feet away. Nearly one out of every four men and one out of every seven women is a frequent snorer. As humans age, our propensity to snore increases because our throat muscles start to weaken. So what's this snoring thing all about? Why do we even snore? Scientists haven't really figured out why that we snore, but it could be something we evolved to do. One theory being that the loud noises scare off scavengers, though it may be one of those things we never had weeded out by natural selection. Basically, we're saying snorers in the wild weren't killed off more quickly than non-snorers, so we were all able to have offspring. Snoring comes from the back of your mouth, specifically the soft palate or the rear roof of your mouth and the uvula, that dangly thing back there. The tongue and tonsils can also be involved in making that lovely sound. Snoring can arise in any number of situations, from relaxing of the throat to the clenching of the jaw. It could be because of the sleeping position, a stuffy nose, an overly fat neck. Fat around the neck weighs down the muscles, causing snoring. There are plenty of more reasons, but the main reason is all that soft flesh in the mouth and nose area. When your body relaxes, the soft flesh can bunch up, causing air to enter your body irregularly. Those pockets of air slap the soft flesh, causing vibration and noise. Snoring can mess up your sleep quality, which makes people more irritable and drowsy. It can also affect the ability to focus and even affect your libido, not to mention all of those things in the person sleeping next to you. It can also be an indicator of sleep apnea or your body failing to take in oxygen during sleep. This condition can be really serious. When it happens, your breathing stops for like 10 seconds or more. As CO2 levels rise, the internal organs start to suffocate, but you don't wake up for more than a few seconds so you wouldn't even remember it if it happened. If sleep apnea happens often enough or for long periods, it can cause heart disease and brain damage. A new study from the University of Michigan shows that women who are chronic snorers have higher rates of C-sections and smaller birth weight babies. Snoring, who knew such a little thing could have such sweeping effects on our bodies? If you do snore and you don't want to anymore, there are mouth guards you can buy, there are machines like CPAP machines that force air into your body, and even a surgery that shaves off bits of your soft palate, but there are easier ways than surgeries and stuff to fight this affliction. Your situation could be as simple as not going to bed drunk, which causes snoring more often, or just losing a little bit of weight. Do you snore? Do you have some advice for those who do? One home remedy that I saw involved sewing tennis balls into the back of an old t-shirt. Keeps you from sleeping on your back so you don't snore as much. Make your comment with uh, your own ideas down below and subscribe for more D News videos.